dear Virgo, this is a love reading, a prediction for the month of December with me, Kuna Cups Tarot. As an extended member to the channel, you will get these readings ahead of time and with no ads. And there's a picky card reading up, Chances of Love in 2023 for the full members to this channel. And the reading, Your Personal and Spiritual Growth is available for all the members to the channel. Subscribe and then check out the many perks through the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. And I can recommend that you rewatch the previous love reading for November to get a context and this is the prediction for December. And I will start reading your cards and I'm using the Tarot de la Nuit. Uh, so when I open your deck here I see the Ace of Cups together with the seven of wands so it's almost uh, either a fight inside oneself that we feel a lot of love but it's um, we don't want to feel it or we want, want to resist it uh, or there might be two people one that feels the love and one that's resisting it okay i call the divine with love and light and here we have the eight of cups together with the seven of wands so here I get a sense, I got like a, a sinking feeling inside of me that ended in the stomach. And um, I feel like it's disappointment that uh, we have uh, loved with our whole heart, but that uh, to know there was no point. So with the seven of wands, we kind of put boundaries towards ourselves uh, that we are not allowed to love the person we love because maybe their relationship is destructive, maybe... Um, the person doesn't love us back maybe they are in um, a relationship with someone else there can be so many different reasons to why we have decided to hold ourselves off like this either this is you or it's the other person so i call the four archangels in the four corners of the world and here we have the magician together with seven of wands so it seems like you want to create better relationships for yourself and therefore you're putting boundaries uh, to what you are allowed to do and whom you are allowed to give your love to might also be that uh, you're meeting new people and yes i could fall in love with this person but i'm not going to i see way too many red flags so it can be that kind of energy too six elements three of wands and with the seven of wands still uh, three of wands it shows um, uh, it's almost like you are uh, learning, learning by doing, maybe learning by dating people and seeing if they are good for you or not good for you or just being in um, conversation with people, with your family, with your friends, with uh, romantic partners and, and learning more and more uh, what you want to see more of, what you want to see less of, uh, how you can invite people into your life, how you don't want to invite them in. And which people you don't want to invite in. So six elements. Earth, wind, fire, water, spirit and ether to join us here today. And to give us a clear view reading for my dear Virgo viewers. So I want my dear Virgos to have love in their life. And to find themselves in loving relationships. I also want you to have creative success. And to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. So uh, I'll just tune in to uh, you and the person most on your mind for a few seconds. Let's see if we can arrange this a little bit better. Uh, and uh, your relationship in December. I know Virgo need, wants to keep it neat. <laughs> okay, so I hear you. <laughs> Um, this is the new bottom of the deck and we have the emperor so it shows discipline boundaries force strength armor um, following our own inner determination being stubborn okay so i think you are trying to give yourself a better life basically the old bottom of the deck eight of wands together with ace of cups it might be that we are following our heart falling in love um maybe not easy but maybe with the wrong people or uh, in some way eight of wands and ace of cups it's the wonderful forces in the world it fills it with love and and beauty but when that love and beauty is taken advantage of 
uh, we want to put uh, a stop to it. We don't want to give, um, like, throw pearls to pigs. Uh, eight of wands, we saw the seven of wands. Uh, so you have taken a new decision, okay? So this is what's on your mind with the person most on your mind. And uh, this is the situation with said person, what's on their mind with you, uh, your feelings towards them, the bond between you two, their feelings towards you, uh, your behaviors and attitudes, the outcome for December, and their behaviors and attitudes. So we start with the situation and we have a six of cups. So six of cups is reconciliation, nostalgia. Uh, maybe you have been offered um, to reconcile with the person, but you have said no out of this uh, boundaries. It might also be in the reverse that the other person has said no because they don't want to experience uh, what you had that was negative again. Uh, what's on your mind is the nine of pentacles so nine of pentacles in this case it's kind of taking a stand away from the six of cups nine of pentacles is a singles energy uh, we feel like we are better off taking care of ourselves uh, that we're, our life is good as um, we take care of it and uh, we don't have like negative interference from uh, people that um, has had a negative influence in our life in the past and here we can see the three of cups uh, three of cups it's like this person wants to invite you for a talk for a conversation we had the three of wands prior and this is the three of cups uh, so three of wands would be a, a negotiation this is more an invitation uh, so I think you come with the negotiating energy because you don't just want to fall for the nice setup and you know, just be friends again. You want to clarify where you stand, what you didn't approve of, what you could don't are not going to reinvest in, and uh, what uh, is beneath you, what you can't uh, accept in form and shape of different behaviors, etc. Uh, so um, I think this in, in, <laughs> inviting energy might be a little bit disappointed. Um, you know, trying to play nice and, and getting uh, this um, lecture. But it's, um, it's why we haven't, why you haven't done it previously, because you wanted to play nice. And this is not about being nice. It's about uh, um, having enough boundaries so that you are able to say no to what's harm you and what harms your life and what harms your heart. So it's not about being unpleasant. Uh, it's about setting those boundaries so we can move in a healthy way forward into our future with healthier relationships. So the bond between you two, and it's a two of wands. So two of wands is power energy of um, taking a stand. It's like you're hanging on the fence. You could say yes to this person, uh, but you are also likely to say no uh, it depends. You will listen in to what they have to say. You will judge uh, what uh, they are saying, what they are not saying, their facial expression, everything. Two of Wands is, of course, connected to the both the Justice card, number 11, 1 plus 1, 2, the two High Priestess, and 20, Judgment Day. So all about having a, uh, a good... Um, like being wise and being street smart and taking good decisions out of self-respect, both respect towards ourselves, but also respect towards others. We don't want to um, continue a negative spiral that's not good for anyone. Okay, this is your feelings, three of swords. So uh, you have a broken heart. You have uh, reasons to show for why you don't want to uh, reinvest uh, in a relationship you don't want to uh, hurt yourself over and over again and never learn uh, this time uh, you you have learned okay so uh, sweet love uh, is all but good <laughs> but it's beautiful and good but uh, when this is what's presented and this is what you're getting three of cups versus three of swords of course you want to go in with a three of wands two of wands seven of wands put some demands sort things out say yes but most of all say no 
um, to what you said yes to before because you got weak in the arms of love. Okay, their feelings, king of cups. So it's very intense. Uh, how they are feeling in the moment is very beautiful, uh, overwhelming love. Uh, wanting to share their time, their heart, their intimate moments together with you, whisper sweet nothingness in your ear. And uh, they want to be supportive towards you. They don't want you to hurt. They don't want you to feel pain. Uh, they don't want to cause you pain. So uh, this person doesn't have bad intentions, but it doesn't mean that they don't have unprocessed uh, personal issues that will hurt you anyway and you can also have unprocessed personal issues that makes the relationship painful for example if we get easily overwhelmed being with other people it will be painful to be with other people if we have a tendency to feel abandoned even if the person just goes away for work we will feel pain in all relationships because all people will have to come uh, and go uh, like they come and go away again and they can't stay with you every minute of every day and sometimes they want to travel see the world or uh, maybe change the dynamic in your relationship by uh, taking a, a job maybe far away from where you live the things will happen and we can't control the other person like you need to stay here and give me the love i need um, so we have different things in our personality, both people, that will uh, trigger pain in the relationship, not because the relationship is bad, uh, but because we get triggered uh, and feel pain by kind of the wrong things, intimacy uh, or the lack of intimacy, like the other person is too far away, we want them to kind of feed us with their energy every minute of the day so this person says i want to feed you with my energy but you know they feel that right now but then when this dynamic starts uh, they will feel uh, exhausted sucked dry irritated all these kind of things so for the moment uh, they feel very high vibrating feelings of love uh, but that will change with the dynamic and it doesn't mean that you shouldn't be in a relationship with other people because you have personal problems, they have personal problems. You're supposed to work through those problems in the relationship. Uh, for example, withstand that the person goes to uh, their work and not to blame them for being late from work uh, and dealing with it um, mostly yourself by knowing that uh, this is me getting triggered, I have been through something traumatic, I felt abandoned, but this person is just uh, doing their work. They're just working over time. They're going to come home and until then, uh, see to that you have a really good time. So this is how we can talk to ourselves when we go through these things. But first of all, we need awareness. We need to be aware that we are uh, having this... Um, um, triggers and then we need to sort out are they a trigger or are they valid maybe the person isn't working overtime maybe they have something on the side uh, so we need to it's very hard to know is this my intuition or is this my fear speaking so it's a lot it's a big process and we might even need uh, help uh, like a psychotherapist or a psychiatrist or something like that to uh, have us um, uh, someone that we can um, discuss with back and forth what's right what's wrong what am I um, when are am I to put uh, more demands and when shouldn't I put more demands when should I deal, deal with myself so uh, it's a big process but uh, I think it's worth it worth it in the end if we can have better relationships <clears throat> your behaviors and attitudes ten of wands um, I'm getting like you really would want to fall for this person's promises and it eats you up alive that uh, you have told yourself no, uh, you don't want to fall for this person's promises <laughs> and uh, it's like a you know big tension. It's the same kind of tension I can feel also when we don't know right from wrong. We feel super upset with something our partner did but we also know that it's not exactly valid, but if we <laughs> to feel like that, but if we dig a little bit deeper, we can see that uh, our reaction might come from something that is valid. So we can't just uh, not look at it and just bang our head to the wall and say, 
shut up, shut up, shut up. Uh, you shouldn't feel like this. You shouldn't uh, want that person. You shouldn't feel like they did the wrong thing by doing that. Uh, for example, let's say that uh, someone asks, uh, can't you throw uh, the Thanksgiving party this year? And you get super upset. You want to cry. You want to, you know, uh, throw a punch to that person's face and they just asked like a, a, a question and kind of honorable question they felt like your home is nice your cooking is good so they want to have the thanksgiving party at your house but if um, like if you go with the initial reaction with a person that knows you well uh, they will probably ask okay now you see you get really upset and angry with me what happened and we can say i don't know and but we can start to talk about it or process it by ourselves and then realize that there has been a thanksgiving when you got really disappointed because no one wants to wanted to celebrate thanksgiving or you offered to celebrate in your house but no one did come or whatever so it can be things that's valid but it's not about the actual thing. It's about something that our emotions remember, but we don't remember it. Uh, so we need to do the investigation. We can't just uh, lock in our feelings like this and toss away the key. The process needs to be done. This could cause us to, you know, we hold off, hold off, hold off. And then we jump on the person and, you know, strangle them <laughs> or try to at least. <laughs> and um, so it's better to just, um, you know, uh, tell I'm getting really upset by this question I don't know why but it's upsetting to me I will figure it out I think it's a nice valid question and and uh, but for some reason I'm I'm having a reaction to it uh, so if it, it's a person that we know well they will you know support us in that but if it's another person we might want to say well let me think about it and then you know go and bang, bang our head in the wall until we remember what it is that makes us so upset and here we have their behaviors and attitudes in the five of swords. So it's definitely this person is going to go back to old behaviors. Uh, let's say it's about Thanksgiving party and um, you, it's a nice question, but you know that underneath this person wants to pressure you to become stressed, to take responsibility for all the food, uh, to have to deal with everyone needing to have a sleepover. So they're doing it because they want to hurt you. Um, and they are doing that these things also subconsciously. It's like a payback for something that happened to them or something that you said 10 years ago that they still haven't got, gotten over. So we are peculiar like this. We have memories like elephants emotionally and um, uh, like in our body. But usually our mind doesn't remember what's the problem. So we get surprised when we act uh, like with an overreaction with pain and sadness and anger. Or when we get an overreaction and wants to hurt the other person or, um, you know, do something nasty towards them. Okay, outcome. And we have justice, justice, awareness, clarity, clarity. Um, this definitely needs to be sorted out. Two of wands, 11 justice, one plus one, two. Um, so there's situations we need to stand alert. We can't jump into either feeling the feelings and throwing furniture around just because someone asked about this Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, and we can't, uh, you know, claw someone's eyes out and do nasty things towards them without knowing our reasons. We need to stay alert. We need to ask ourselves the right questions. Uh, we need maybe to process it with someone that we know and try to figure out what's really going on. Um, it might be that this person has some nasty tendency, like they are um, juvenile and really nice uh, on the surface, but then, you know, come and stab you in the back. And then you end up, or in the chest, and you end up feeling like this with a broken heart with that ice pick there okay so i'm going to check with the lovers oracle what's going on okay so what's going on with this person here coffee cup meeting and conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted friendship so it's much what we saw already with the coffee cup being offered here that the person wants to make nice with you or at least it seems like this on the surface <laughs> so it can be it doesn't have to be a lover it can be a relative inviting themselves to talk about thanksgiving to just give you a lot of assignment and when you they go from your house you feel like a uh, hundred years old <laughs> okay but
but um, for most of you it will be a, a person either a romantic partner or a really good friend uh, that missed you and really want to reconcile the relationship but then you know their nasty ugly snake head come forward with something heart with a key wisdom love meeting the one opening your heart getting together perfect okay so this is like undying love and this doesn't seem like undying love i think the person has um, like you got their heart broken um, either by you or by someone in the past and the thorns in their heart make them act out towards your heart or other people's heart uh, so I, I don't think this person has bad intentions um, it's something else that's going on need times take time in time cycle time to heal progress so this was what i'm asking about you and you are not really ready to open your arms to this person you're kind of closing up like this and oh they can be glad i didn't strangle them <laughs> so i don't think you're super open for love right now but um, you might want to say one thing or two of uh, how you felt uh, what is really making you having the reaction because when we say it to the person's face uh, it doesn't matter what kind of reaction they get it's better if they say i'm sorry but if they don't say they're sorry they say that never happened you have still said it you still stood up for yourself like the seven of wands and i think that's the key here it was uh, like the significator of this reading the seven of wands uh, so it's necessary for you to communicate how you feel even if it's not going to fall in fertile ground with this person so i'm going to clarify the reading with the third of sexual magic so we start with the six of cups knight of pentacles so someone comes and offering you the pear there or whatever fruit it is and um, the coffee cup so the person the knight of pentacles is a loyal person it just means that uh, this person hasn't forgotten about you it can be taurus or capricorn another virgo king of cups can be scorpio cancer pisces but there can be any sign here <clears throat> it just shows like a loyal stable energy like someone that will plow the same field year after year and if the field is gone they're still going to love that old farm <laughs> okay i'm not saying that you're an old farm but i'm just trying to paint a picture of this person's uh, psyche when it comes to you uh, that they're very nostalgic about you and they can't let go clarifying the three of cups five of swords <sighs> I need to understand this deeper. It might be five of swords in the reverse. It's like someone wants to, um, they want to make friends again, but they don't want to be the only one um, showing that kind of interest. So the lovers, uh, clarifying a little bit more. This is with the modern witch, queen of pentacles. So that's Virgo. I love Virgo, five of swords, five of swords. Well, I will say it like this. I think the person wants you to get, um, it's like reconciliation, but this is a little bit less open-hearted reconciliation when it comes in the reverse. It's more like, uh, I don't want to fight anymore. Okay, I'm hearing a song. I don't really want to fight anymore. I'll write it down. I don't really want fight anymore and i will put this song if i remember that i wrote it down i will put this song in the description box and these uh, songs are like mini tart readings they can show a little bit more what's going on with with the person so this uh, lovers and the queen of cups makes sense like coffee cup the five of swords is almost like um, they love you but they also like it's like you are their enemy and they are ready to defend themselves against you maybe they don't want to hear about the things that they did wrong and that will upset them so they just want to be nice or they just want to have a nice time they don't want you to come with any kind of accusations about the past so clarifying the nine of pentacles and we have the king of pentacles it's like you don't want to be a victim to this person in your own castle uh, you feel more safe uh, when you are you uh, then when they come and kind of it's almost like invading four of cups 
it's also four of cups it shows that uh you kind of love the person but you don't think that there's any point uh, so basically this says to me that you haven't come to a place where you're ready for reconciliation or even have healed you remember too vividly what happened in the relationship and it still hurts so clarifying the um, two of wands and we have the nine of wands so you would very much like this it's like should i i would want to have the relationship here but you are walking there with your wand uh, so trying to decide <clears throat> should i allow this shouldn't i allow this should i you know stand with my torch and you know god damn it no one is going to come in or should i let my torch fall and and kind of uh, give in to <clears throat> my romantic feelings so it's like uh, shakespeare there uh to be or not to be in love that's the question <laughs> okay to give in to love or not give in to love nine of wands traditionally it's like a warrior energy someone that gave their all their loyalty to their family to their group to their country and got only ptsd in return <laughs> so clarify the three of swords and we have the six of wands so you feel like other people have hurt you. You, have, you feel like you have allowed them to hurt you by allowing them to get close to you or get what they wanted from you, but you didn't get what you wanted. They were able to uh, like experience your beautiful self, uh, all your resources, even your luscious body, but uh, what did you get out of it? Uh, so it's almost like um, you were like a convenience store and and with all the goods that was there and this person just came and took a lot of things and didn't even pay for them so i don't mean that <laughs> you should they should pay for love but uh, it's like it's in uh, in the feeling i'm feeling here uh, when i'm uh, like reading into your personality or your person I feel as if the other person gets what they want out of the relationship. I don't get what I want out of the relationship. It's like the things I want are not even important. The things that they want is written with neon signs or highlight. And mine are like a whisper in the margin. And it's like, but no one cares about that. Don't even you know mention that. Why should you ask about that? It's not important. It's ridiculous. So it's what's the point with you letting them come close? It's like they get what they want, but you never get what you want anyway. So there's no point. Uh, so six of wands is victory. So basically you're holding off um, with your, you know, all your beautiful self so that uh, and that's you winning because you're not giving in to them or uh, getting back into that situation where you're not being fed only they are being fed clarifying the king of cups queen of wands i feel this person has um, you have done something you have taken distance from them and this surprised this person and it made them uh, want you even more and uh, feel even more intrigued by you queen of wands here i feel the um, the closeness between these two um icons or pictures or persons or girls um they have the same strength but also like um it's i have accepted that things can't be in the way i want uh, and therefore uh, i'm not going to engage anymore so that's the feeling i'm getting and this person they want you to engage they want you to like they want to lure you to give what they needed so freely um but they probably still not interested in giving you what you want clarifying the ten of wands and it's the king of cups so the same as there uh, again i'm feeling the feeling like you love this person and you should sit on the throne you know next to this person but instead it's like you're living the life they want you to live or you have the kind of um, conversation that they like uh, you have when you talk about things that you think it's important you see they are getting bored and they want to go out um, and um, it's the same with um, intimacy if it's, this is a romantic relationship that what they think is great is what you're 
um you are doing but the things you want to do it's like ugh, are you sure this is very complicated so maybe we should skip it uh, so you don't get your needs met okay clarifying the five of swords seven of wands so hmm. Uh, I'm feeling like both of you have the seven of wands. You don't want to engage in this because you never get your needs met anyway. Just ends with you breaking your heart and uh, giving all your loveliness away to someone that doesn't give their loveliness to you. And they have taken a stand. They don't want to. You know, they say a no to all this. They say no to these conversations you want to have or uh, the trips you want to go on or... Uh, the involvement of the relationship that you are instigating or uh, the different um, maybe intimacy or intimate uh, things that you are trying to uh, trying to seed into the relationship. Can we do this? Can we do that? No, 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 no. So um, this seems to be the issue that there's an imbalance and injustice. Even if this person... Uh, they kind of adore you, but they adore you for what you can give to them. And they want you to be nice and behave so that they can feel nice in the relationship. When you start to talk about issues or talk about, I don't know, your childhood or uh, the problem, how you felt that morning when they woke you up and did that thing uh, where they were going to go and uh, you weren't giving notice, things like this. They don't want to talk about it. They just want to have the nice thing. But you have, yeah, you have, um, you know, it's pleasant to have nice, a nice uh, conversation, doing nice things. But you also want the depth. You also want to solve things. You also want to grow as a person in this relationship. You just don't want to, you know, uh, skate on the surface of niceness. Um, and you want to explore the depths of your being, the depths of your emotion. And um, uh, this person is like, no. Um, there was, um, uh, there's a, I think it's a Swedish poet, a girl, and she said, um, you searched a woman and find a soul, you are disappointed. I think this can sum up this whole reading, that this person searches, they search a person, but they find a person with a soul, and then they're like, no, I just wanted to, you know, skate through life, do the wonderful things, look at the great movies, listen to great music. Drinking, having fun, earning a lot of money. <laughs> don't talk about these things. Uh, don't poke around in my feelings. Um, don't show me that you are a person as well, that you are not just an um, a item. Uh, don't show me that you have, <clears throat> you know, either sexual desires, emotional desires. I don't want to see it. You should just be like a tool for my happy life so I can live my happy life and go blindly through it without growing at all so it's a little bit rude of me to say that but if we should draw it to the extreme that is what's going on here it has its deeper explanations of course this person might not want to touch their own trauma for example so everyone you every time you want to talk about something deeper or explore something deeper uh, they don't want to go there. They don't want to go down the ra rabbit hole, <clears throat> Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> so uh, outcome is the star card, the star card and justice. So uh, you were supposed to meet, you were supposed to have these imbalances and, and sort it out. Um, so um, it's hard to sort things out if the other person walks away when you're trying to have a conversation. But the divine suggestion seems to be to, uh, to have those conversations anyway blessed so similarity don't you think <laughs> okay i'll see 22 blessed usually i will yes just say some comments uh, this time around but i actually feel like i need to read this to understand a little bit deeper um, there are moments in life when out of the blue, it seems like everything has been orchestrated by divine intervention. So uh, something will solve magically. You might not be grateful for it or even notice it. You will just like, oh, finally it's solved and then move on. But if you could pay attention, 
you can be grateful that something that you have asked for for a very long time will be solved. Um, you are moving towards the deepening of intimacy in a unique and sacred partnership, the star card. You know you are meant to make this connection, this union, blessed by the divine. It will bring transformation and beauty to the world. This is also a sign that, even more important, you are being called to deeper intimacy with yourself, you know, doing the exploration, and with spirit. They are trying to help you explore deeper. Uh, with this new development, you will see evidence of grace in your life. Uh, so, and the divine is agreeing with you, want the same thing as you. The other person, they don't want this so much. Um, I want to figure out what this can be about. Siri about us, I feel lonely without you. That's the this King of Cups, Queen of Wands situation. But I wanted to know about this, you know, the hardships belong together i have a lot of insecurities okay so it seems like you are poking these insecurities uh, when you want to discuss deeper matters when you want them to take a good look in the mirror and ask themselves if they can take the next step in, in the relationship or evolve as a person uh, but the glue is we belong together here like this uh, so um, it's as if this will trump their resistance in some way and that uh, maybe this is the time when they will still, <clears throat> you know, break the promises. They will say, I will never do that to you again. They will do it again, again I'm sure. Uh, but uh, you, will, you will be a little bit more of a hard ass and, you know, not just wither away because they said that your uh, feelings wasn't important or what you wanted to talk about wasn't important or the movies you wanted to look at wasn't important. And uh, you will say, this is important. I'm not going to give up just because you are neglecting me or acting like um, I don't matter. I matter. Uh, wanted to aim for something better for myself. It's the nine of cups here. Uh, coins, sorry. Um, you want to, you don't want to live in this where you feel like, oh, now, now I, they are going to hear me. Now this is going to be solved. Now we are going to, and no, they just, no, uh, disappointment, heartbreak, sorrow. I will never stop loving you. I was lost. Yeah, I think you were lost in your love. I think you love people very intensely, but uh, you were expecting them to be the adversary for you as in the same way as you were the adversary for them. Like the person, if you saw that they had complicated feelings, you helped them sort it out. If uh, you had complicated feelings, they just wanted you to suck it up. Uh, but I think it's a little bit of um, uh, maybe how they have been raised as well, that they are acting towards you in the way that people have acted towards them. And now you come in with this new paradigm, you know, need to show them that it also applies to you, uh, that you are allowed to stand up for yourself and what you want and what you desire. Uh, and you can be as hard as they are with the saying no, and you can even mirror their behavior. So if they don't care about you in this department, you don't have to care about them in that department. Um, and then they will say, what's going on with you? And you say, um, I don't want to take revenge, but I want you to see how it is for me when you're always neglecting this and that. So uh, until uh, you have uh, realized that my needs are important too, you will be as neglected. Sorry, my love. <laughs> It can be hard to not uh, be um, uh, sucked into a childish argument here, uh, but try not to. Try to. It's what it is. Uh, I have tried speaking to you. You haven't listened. Uh, I think this is the next step so that you will uh, feel how it feels and just not hear it from me how it feels. Um, it's better this way is what I'm hearing. <laughs> okay. So uh, I would urge you to watch the reading, their true thoughts and feelings and the love reading for November to learn more about this situation or relationship. You can also order personal readings from me at tart.com.se. And thank you for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get a heads up when a new video is out. Take really good care until next time. Stay awake, stay healthy, stay blessed and bye for now.